Zaniacs, I'm Lainey. I'm Marshall. And today we're going to talk about a book that I have been wanting to read for a little bit and I got the opportunity to and it is called Felix Ever After and it's by Case and Calendar. So this book kind of fulfills this um, resolution that I had this year to read more African-American authors. Now this book in, in and of itself is also different because it was written by a member of the LGBTQA plus community. I, I, I can't remember all the letters. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and this was part of a prompt for the event that I'm doing in WeBe Book and so I thought this would be a really great book to read because it kind of fulfills a lot of the things that I'm looking for to challenge myself with. The story of Felix Ever After is about Felix who is a trans boy. Uh, Felix doesn't like using his dead, what he calls the dead, his dead name. So that's the name that he was born with. Uh, he recently, about two years prior, started making the transition to being a male. Of course, he goes to an art school. He wants to be an artist. And then one day, somebody decides to pull this heinous hate crime of taking pictures that had been saved in his private gallery, uh, not to the public, hacking into his Instagram and grabbing the pictures of when he was a girl from his gallery, sticking it into an art exhibit at his high school with his dead name. And that basically starts to crush him because he doesn't know who he can relate to. He doesn't know who's done it. Uh, they immediately take it down, but then he's very, you know, suspect of people, including one guy who has kind of made hateful comments, not like, like hate crime comments, but just like he gives him flack for, mm -hmm. you know, everyday life. Um, and so he, so Felix sets up this fake messaging account to get in contact with this guy and basically con him into talking to him and revealing that he was the one who did the gallery. The other part of this book that's really interesting is that Felix also doesn't totally feel comfortable in his boy body as well as his girl body. So he's constantly trying to figure out what he is. And he goes to some support groups for it because he feels like he's the only one who feels this way. Like, why did he transition into being a boy when he doesn't always feel comfortable being a boy either? So he has a really interesting journey going through that and trying to figure out his real identity. On top of which, there are a lot of themes in here that I didn't even really know about, which was how does the gay community treat the trans community? And I didn't even know that this was a thing, that they look down on them so much, even though technically they're like, everyone should be the same. Like they're calling for equality, but they're not giving equality. And to me that that was like kind of an eye opening thing to learn about in this book. And I guess it's the whole reason why I wanted to read books like this in the first place was to get that perspective. That, this has kind of been an interesting, like, I'm not sure if I'll be able to read this book. Not because, like, I have any issues with the theme, like, the characters or anything like that. But just because, like, how it seems like this character is going to get treated, it will just cause me to rage quit. Um, you know, I... <clears throat> I was afraid of that, and it doesn't. Oh, I'm glad. Then I'll probably yeah. Read the this. way the way it's handled is actually very light. There are points where you're like, oh yeah, yeah, that that's that's horrible, and you do feel for him, but you never really rage about the injustice of it all because there is justice. There is there there are he has support no matter what he okay. does have support in his life, and there are people who will stand up for him. Therefore. The hope is not lost <laughs> in that in that situation. I never felt like it was heavy, and I never I never felt that at all when I read this book. Well, that's good, yeah, because it's not that these situations and these these themes shouldn't be heavy, but I can't watch *Handmaid's Tale*. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I have oftentimes difficulty watching stories of uh, racism because I I start seeing that and I'm just like I. I want to punch the screen now. Uh, 
great, what am I going to do with this rage? I'm just going to walk away. Um, so, But that um, gives you the opportunity to funnel that rage into action and doing, you know, what is right and just in that moment instead of a punching of screen, <laughs> you yeah, know? exactly. So um, what would you give these books? Well, this book, I definitely gave it four stars. I thought it was a really great read. And like I said, it was very... It was a challenge to me to read something that I wasn't quite familiar with. And I, I thought that was, you know, that was a, a good a good experience for me. I, I definitely recommend this book. If, you know, if for anything, you like young adult books, you like, you know, black authors, you like, you know, something about the whole queer community. It's got it all. It's cool. got it all. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.